This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co anchors with me, Nimide Kombi and Ife Omai. Hi. Hey guys. Keep going. Sad. Yeah, Very true. sad. Okay, so news reaching us on everywhere is um, the death of Dan Foster. He's an, a Nigerian based American TV, TV radio personality, mm -hmm. radio consultant. He's done a lot in the industry regarding creating content and especially for radio as well mm. and um, he died from COVID-19 mm. um, but um, reliable sources say that he had um, other serious underlying um, health, issues. health issues I mean I, I don't know how I feel about this it's definitely sad but I know there mm. are other emotions that I can't put a name to right now because I grew up listening to Dan Foster. Yeah, yeah I mean, know. I think every, any one of us in this yeah. grew up yeah. listening it's to him. Yeah. So it feels like it's a part of your childhood mm -hmm. and you yeah. growing up. So it's very, very painful. It's a, I would say that out of all the deaths of COVID-19 I've heard in Nigeria, this one hits harder than the others because the others are maybe politicians. Mm. They're not people that are like, close Have to me. But this person, you've heard his voice over and over again yeah. on the radio. It feels like it's kind of like a part of you. It took so me it to hurts. Sunday afternoons. That's what mm. it took me to. As yeah. soon as I saw that, <clears throat> uh, Sunday afternoons when church has finished and our parents have refused to <laughs> finish their after fellowship after fellowship and we're waiting in the car. That's yeah. who we have to really entertain you. Your, his opinions on music and just life and his voice, like, yeah. And his personality. Yeah. His personality was, was another thing Pretty full really on. But yeah, man, he's so rest people in to him. Hmm. Rest in peace. Um, 2020 has taken a lot. A lot of people. Um, mm. COVID-19 oh. needs to go. I think we're getting close to getting something that looks like a cure. So, may yeah. um, so rest in peace. Amen. 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 Okay, um, so the man who threatened to kill Judokui for allegedly or supposedly ending Cynthia Morgan's career has been arrested. He sent death threats via DM on social media. According to the young man, he felt pained that Jude ended Cynthia Morgan's music career. Thus, sent him death threats. This is a case of nobody sent you to fight anybody's battle. Mm. You willingly went on your own. I don't think Cynthia Morgan paid him or told him that go and fight my battle. He went on his own to fight the battle and now he's getting, you know, the full weight of the law. And I'm actually happy about this because I feel like and one of the negatives of social media is that it gives a lot of people confidence and boldness to say and do whatever it is that they want to do. Things no, that I they think cannot it's stupidity. do in your presence. Yeah, basically, yeah, Trolling people and sending on a normal day. threats. You think because you're behind the phone and nobody yeah. sees you, you can do anything, anything and say you anything. Who, look at him first. Before we even start asking if he has the capacity to kill anyone just look at the person that was arrested he doesn't yeah. have any capacity he doesn't have the capacity to take care of himself right now True. so the the idea that you can be behind your phone and talk to anybody anyhow yeah. say anything you want to say i think we need to maybe add it to our curriculum to teach people social media <laughs> etiquettes and um, um communication that's yeah. one and also understand the words that you cannot say to people, people that, yeah. because you can actually land yourself in prison. I, I like yeah. that you mentioned that because for me, what came out of the conversation re that really stood out isn't that he reported or that they found the person or whatever. Is that are we giving psych evaluations? And it's simple as as simple as having that type of conversation. That were you being silly or is there something actually wrong with your thinking and you're unsafe to be part of society? Um, when things like this happen, I think it's almost like our, our our chance to look into people's minds for a second. Like, I mean, we wouldn't have seen that if not for social media and this it's setting. Crazy. And so I, I always worry when we overlook that because I don't want it to be that, you say he's not capable, but maybe not to Jude, but is he capable of killing his Someone girlfriend else. or his brother or his, true, true. or his boss or something? And that's why... I, I I don't when he when he uploaded it the Jude and said okay he's been released and in his mind the, the situation has finished I just felt it was really irresponsible like if that's the angle you want to take where you just want to show yourself that you can handle the threat like there's not there's not really much of a point to me yeah. I was hoping that with this caption he will also say something address men the mindset but there was no address addressing to violence it was just show off and i can't yeah, get he really wanted to teach him a lesson but it would have been nice if he went a step further yeah. to um 
would the word school him now well, yeah even if it's just to pay for a session for him at a uh, yaba left mm -hmm. let him go there for a session and have a conversation yeah yeah know, on this i wanted to also say that in developed societies this kind of threats are actually very very serious because they have been celebrities who have taken their lives because they get like in some communities in some societies it is very very serious mm. that they send threatening things to your address they send different kind of stuff so it starts from this from the dm sending yeah. i'm going to kill you yeah that kind of stuff so i don't think that it's it should be let go i think mm. it's something that we need should be helped right to yeah have, like punitive measures against that kind of situation but, but then we you challenge. see even with men the side the 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 silence of it the tone deafness that they have is extremely disappointing like mm -hmm. there was a thing going on on the red table talk and a woman came out to have a long conversation about her family and then she has two boys and the boy had a problem and he wanted men to help that she's a single parent, she doesn't have anywhere to go. Let's say something. Men were silent. And men post. If it was a dark really? skin girl versus a light skin girl, they would have, they'll have opinions. If it was about no, one, but, hmm, they'll have opinions. We're talking about a man that is suffering, a kid that is suffering and needs advice. Yes. Nothing. We need to help them open their mouths, mm. hopefully soon. But moving on to the next story, the band finally reacts to the rape allegation leveled against him, says it's a lie from the pit of hell, and that he has um, handed it over to his legal team, and that the Nigerian police force is investigating the criminal aspect of it. He went on to say that it is sad that the allegation is coming a few weeks before the second anniversary of his late son, and has reopened painful scars of his deep loss. Yada yada yada. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Um. Okay. So this is high. <laughs> <laughs> if he had ended the story in telling us that uh, my lawyers are working or legal team and police are investigating and stop it there, mm, I would say okay. Yes. Let's be watching. Let's listen to both sides. But bringing up your son, dead son. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah. about your the loss of your son and your loss and your wife's loss and all. Yeah. But it made it look like you're trying to. Yeah. Um. Like get you know. To, to to move the attention or the focus yeah. from what the conversation is really about, is. Yeah. And that did not sit... It might be just me, I don't know, but it it's didn't sit well with me. Personally, yeah. I, I'm not really into... Um, celebrities especially if it's especially if you have power and the means um i'm sorry if you're innocent but for me it even makes it more skeptical because anyone who has the power who is very guilty can do the exact thing that you've done um i'm not saying that i support Have you did it uh yeah have did it yeah, exactly Epstein did and, he, it. and they, a lot of women went silent they went silent. they, they took the sentence back because guess what they, they can't prove the that um they are innocent or that they were not lying so when they come out and say oh i didn't mean that i was lying i don't believe that story i'm not saying that um in this particular case the badge is i don't know i'm not there i don't really don't know it's as good as 50 50 he did or he didn't um, but this to me isn't like some type of means to justify yourself. Um, what are you investigating? I mean, even when we believe the person had actually um, raped the person, we can't even get them to be persecuted because there's no proof for investigation. So they're like, try again. Yeah, and also, I, don't, I just want to build up on what you said. No, we have to look at the, the country that we are in, the culture that is already existing. We have a culture where a lot of times, rape victims are silent or they are taught to be silent so when somebody or actually, they are silenced or they are silenced so when somebody actually comes out to accuse somebody in a powerful position my first step is to believe them because mm. i want to believe that you won't be stupid enough in a society like this mm. to bring up a false accusation against somebody like the bunch mm. who, who already has the people who already, yeah. who already has the people sentiment. so for you to even accuse him in the first place that would have taken a loss because mm. she did not she, it was not anonymous it was not even her it was her friend she, she also even came out she can speak so like she, she was not anonymous so that took a lot of guts so for and me she named I'm names. divided yeah. Yeah. i'm divided i'm not very sure i cannot say for sure that this is what to be happened honestly, i'm not divided yet i'm still on the i'm still on the victim side 100 <laughs> percent until i start to see something him else. bringing yeah. in the loss of his son just um made me itch. and even the lawsuit yeah. in itself come on you have power He's asking That's for 100 should, million should, naira and an apology. This is like intimidation. 100 million naira and an apology. This is but, intimidation to okay. me. Okay, we'll, we'll keep um, watching the case, and I just hope that the lady in question have got um, resources as well. 
to mm -hmm. be able to stand her ground and have the conversation because at the end of the day they come to Bugai even if it's with 10 lawyers it's a conversation yeah. say yeah. ask the questions and I'll answer is mm -hmm. that simple and if you want to investigate something. like you said the police should go to um, what's it called the hotels that she has mentioned and check the CCTV if she's ever mm. working and things like that to find out. It's, yeah. it's a long haul, but we'll be fine. Yeah, mm. so I actually read some things and I think the hotel already spoke up and they said that nothing like that ever happened. They were supposed and to come out and say it happened. No, that was what they said. Mm. But then also, I think something happened with the bank when, during his birthday a bank endorsed him so there was like a, a, an endorsement deal so i think that's lawyers, the reason he's responding yeah i think mm -hmm. that's the reason why he's actually mm -hmm. responding now because our lawyers reached out to the bank and said that how can they you know give him that kind of endorsement deal with all of the mm -hmm. alleged rape um, incidents with mm -hmm. him so i think that's the reason why he's actually coming out i cannot say for sure mm -hmm. but i think that that was one of the things that motivated him to come mm -hmm. out it would be interesting to something. have a conversation about it if for, for for whatever reason um this person or they are lying um what happens to people like that mm -hmm. um and that would be a good place to have that conversation but i'm not going to stress myself until i can see for sure that i'm not even i don't stress about what is going to happen to um people who make false rape accusations because the truth is no i do because rapists are, are not even no, <laughs> they don't even no. get time coming out to make false jail. race rape, rape accusation is actually a it grievous. is a big deal it's, it's a, a it's just a crime, well. crime but, the but truth we need is to go are not even sentenced yeah so, we um, need to go on a quick break right. um when we come back we have a very interesting guest for you